So, before we get started with uh, changing out some light bulbs and other stuff on the crossfire, we've got some mess that needs to be cleaned up, so I'm going to do something that this needed a long darn time ago. So, I'm going to go outside and drag some stuff in and get this place cleaned up. All right, well, here's phase one. So that's one segment here. Now the idea is this shelf is at work height. So then we can hang some work lights underneath this shelf, shed a little light on there, and then we'll section ourselves off so we have our metal working where we have the sheet metal break and the lathe and probably move the drill press into the back corner on the other side of the car there. So that way we can keep all of our metalworking type of stuff in one area. Underneath the shelves, they're all at a height that, that we can run a shove motors and transmissions underneath. So that'll store them out of the way. And since it's a eight foot tall shelf, we got space that we can put all sorts of stuff up top. So, plenty of room for expansion. As you can tell right on over here, there's one more segment that I uh, got at this point in time. It's kind of the plan. I'm gonna get uh, busy here off camera and when we come back, we'll show you the working area, and then we'll get working on the crossfire again. All right, so obviously I'm still in the process, but we've got a box of parts. So I still gotta put a shelf up here. I kinda need to go buy another one. They're not the cheapest stuff on the planet, but it is what it is. All right, so anyways, here are all our lights. We've got, I think these are the backup lights. Those are all the turn signals. Those are our side markers and the driving lights. And these are the brake lights. Now some of these are kind of neat because they got the little projector lens in there and a couple LEDs in there to help project other ways. Both that one and this one has that. These blinker ones just have a couple little LEDs in the front. And these little guys just have LED there, there, and there. So, I think we're going to chuck a whole bunch of these things in and see how they actually work. Of course, we had got other parts, uh, pigtails for like the transmission, so we can get backup lights and that type of stuff. A nice start button, fuel gauge, another button for the horn, because I don't want it on the steering wheel, and a couple other sensors for the LS. But let's head over to the car and install some of these things. All right, well, most of these are easy to replace, but I've seen some real sketchy stuff without having uh, the bumper in the way. So some people may not find it as easy as this. Guess that's in.
that fit in. So that's those. Let's put our reflector on the side here just to kind of see if we need to tone down the light or if it'll do just fine or what it looks like. Of course, the tail light's not necessarily that much diff more difficult. Just start pulling your lights. All right, and hopefully, let's see if you can see that. That's what happens to an old orange painted lamp. Then it starts not looking very orange. So, all right, that goes in. This should be the backup light. I need to grab the backup light. Back in its home it goes. All right, so I'm gonna go swap out the other side, then we can go take a peek and see what these things look like. All right, everything's in, let's just give it a try. All right, so back here you can see it has kind of more pink blotch. It's kind of what I didn't necessarily want, but maybe I might be able to find some of these that have like a red LED in it. That might actually turn out pretty good because the tail lights, that actually is a red light. So, that's not too bad. Brake lights. Oh yeah. It's kind of interesting how the flasher is a faster blink. All right, either way, that's pretty good. All right, so back over here, we can show you the extreme difference between all these. Just your standard bulb like this, this is 21 watts. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it there. 21 watts at 12 volts. So that's 21 watts. So is that one and that one and that one. So two, four, six, and eight. We got a good 84 watts when you turn the hazards on. These guys, three watts. So, we went from 84 watts to 12. It's like the entire turn signals now 
all four of them operate on half of the wattage of one of these bulbs. So that's what allows me to run the thinner gauge wire. I probably could have gone even thinner, but I didn't want to push it. Not too sure what the wattage of these little side marker guys are. Five. So the side markers are five watts and then your brake lights, running lights. The running lights are five, brake are the 21. So we are definitely operating on much lower wattage. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Kind of wish uh, they had a slight difference to put for the side markers, but all in all, I'm not going to be staring at my car all the time. So it's just there to stay safe on the roads. Anyways, I'm going to now run away and grab another shelf for this work area. And then we can hopefully finish it up with a cleaner operation space. Then we can tackle the ECU. So that'll be fun. All right, so that's gonna have to do it for today. We got quite a bit uh, done here. I probably got easily a couple more weeks I could spend cleaning in this piece, but we are at a place that we can see the crossfire to the end of its working time frame, and we're sitting a lot better. And I broke my broom. So anyways, I'm gonna have to go and take care of some uh, stuff here and we will of course come back and tackle this here over here ECU install. So thanks again for watching and hopefully you'll be back again. So see you later.